BBC Radio Solent. Make a difference. We're a big family here on BBC Radio Solent. Now, make a difference this hour. We've been doing this all through the pandemic, celebrating the people across our county and across the south who are doing something good in their communities. And today it's a case of one good turn deserving another. Art for Action is a project that enables local artists to promote their work online and when they sell it, donate some of the proceeds to Dorset Charities. This week, art lovers are being offered the chance to bid for artwork by a very talented young artist who paints scenes from his native Purbeck. We can talk to Malcolm Lewis from Art for Action, who joins me via Zoom now. Morning, Malcolm. Good morning, Steve. Very nice to speak to you. So um, well, give me a bit of insight into your auctions. We've spoken about them before. How how well have they been going? Yeah, we had a great year. We, of course, started in April when the first lockdown happened last year. But last year, yeah, we sold uh, over £14,000 worth of art, raised uh, nearly £6,000, uh, which was given to charity. Um, we, we've, we gave to the Dorset Corona uh, Virus Community Appeal, Purbeck Art Weeks charity, Roots to Roots in Pool. Um, yeah, and we've got a, another couple of charities on the go now, cool. Frontline 19, and um, the Purbeck Youth and Community Foundation. And just to explain that interface for me then, so um, people buy through you, but then also because artists are selling through you, there's that kind of contact directly with charities. Well, what we did last year was we did uh, two auctions uh, where local artists, we had about 30 or 40 artists that put up pieces, um, which were then sold to charity, 25% of which then went straight to these charities. The rest went to the artists. Um, this year, well, I mean, we were hoping to do an auction in the early part this year, but of course, lockdown came again. So I, I built uh, a website, um, a shop where artists could sell and craft craft people, of course, could sell their their works. And again, same split again, uh, three quarters to themselves, a quarter to charity. Cool. So that's going okay. But now. You know, we're we're looking to get back into the auctions. So, as you say, we've got Ed's uh, auction starting up soon at the end of this week. This is Ed Marriott. That's right. Yeah. Ed Marriott. Um, So, yeah, that's that's been done purely online. But we are hoping June, July to do a full auction with me sitting in the chair (laughs) (laughs) with your gavel. Tell me about Ed, because he sounds uh, like quite a unique young man, 19 years old, and he's been painting for 12 years already, from what I understand. That's right. Apparently exhibiting in Swanage when he was eight in uh, in local restaurants. And his pieces, (laughs) yeah, were, were uh, were being picked up and bought then. And certainly in the last auction that he was in for us, you know, he just sort of put a couple of pieces in, I think, £30 or something. And there was quite a bidding frenzy that took it up to, uh, I think, one piece went for 350 from 30 There was about 25 bids. We were, you know, it was, it was quite something. So, yeah, his pieces are very popular. Yeah, and I, I, I guess, Malcolm, you know, the, these times where we've been spending so much uh, time in our homes, it's been a case maybe of people looking at blank walls and thinking, you know what, that needs some sprucing up. Art for action. I need to go there and, and find something that I can hang on my wall to remind me what the outside world looks Absolutely. like. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, if you want to see more, art for number four actioncouk art for actioncouk And Malcolm, stay in touch. And when you get that um, next real life auction up and running, tell us all about it. Will do. Really nice to talk to you this morning. Uh, Malcolm Lewis there from Art for Action on BBC Radio Sunday.